Go and see our old friend O'Connell in his home. Probably. And that will probably end up ending that chapter. So uh, we went the wrong way. Dang. We should probably tell her that we, him, him, her, that we have absolutely no idea what happened to Lulu. What happened to Lucy? She uh, vanished. Bang. And the dirt is gone. Lulu could be beneath the henge, and I've, un I've discovered how to get in. What? So we can now search for Lulu? Yes, we should go to the henge at night. I couldn't find Lulu in the netherworld. Perhaps she is trapped inside. Alrighty, let's go tonight. Automatic fade to night time. What could Lulu possibly have wanted from these ruins? As far as I could tell, she was as happy as could be. She was stumbling intellect, good looks, no lack of friends. I was stunning, not stumbling. Why did she go away from me? Because you're weird. She must be alive. Let's go, O'Connell. Alright then, silver medallion. What will we see beneath the hinge? Will it be something exciting? Fast forward! Keep fast forwarding. Next. There we go. Beneath we go. O'Connell, you're coming. Are you just going to stand there like a sissy boy? I guess not. Let's go. Ellen, my darling, you run like a girl. Still. You think by now you would have improved your action? Get talent. So here we are beneath Henge again. Running. Look at it run. Oh, there's something shining on the floor. Let's go pick that up. I can't remember what it is. I won't know what it is because I haven't played as Ellen before. Let's go. This is where I donned the cloak. Hmm. Someone has been here quite recently, in fact. Probably Ellen, to be honest. <gasps> what? This, an earring? But it must. Just a mummy in the cloak. Let me see that. This is Lulu's. Oh my god, no. <laughs> what? This is her earring. It all makes sense. The mummy that you saw. Was Lulu? What mummy? Which mummy? What are you talking about? But you said she'd only been gone for a week. You! You told me that she was alive! Why is he getting angry? What do you want about? I'm so confused. The truth is, she disappeared half a year ago. I knew it. But I couldn't face the truth. It always felt... Like I just saw the week up before. O-O-O-Connell. I can't believe this. Why did I allow you to ever give me hope? I don't deserve to go on- What? He's gonna kill himself now, is he? Calm down, my dear. Bit extreme. I- What was the mummy he was talking about, though? I'm freaking confused. So does that mean that Lulu became a messenger and died, or- uh, something else, I guess. I guess she became a messenger. Maybe she was the messenger before Ellen, and maybe that's the point. Let's talk to Suzette. Suzette, have you seen O'Connell? That scholar? I saw him sort of wandering around in days. He was heading for the Cliff of Slide. Do you think he's alright? The Cliff? I suppose everyone knew that O'Connell's girlfriend was probably dead. It was just that no one could bear to shatter his hopes that she'd gone missing only the week before and would return. We needed someone to help him face reality, to tell him the truth. Well, really, you're a close-knit community and you couldn't just tell him, could you? Let's see what he has to say for himself. Is he going to apologise? Oh, Connell, don't you dare. You mustn't make any rash decisions. We haven't seen her yet. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. No. It is I who should be apologizing. I am sorry I said all that. I didn't mean to worry you. I was not myself. I should have never blamed you. After all, the effort you made for me. 
death is a part of life. There is no way around it. In Lulu's case, I just could not bring myself to accept it. The purpose of the princesses of your was not to commune with the dead, but to assist people in accepting dead itself. You, you told me what I needed to hear. In order to overcome my predicament, I first needed to face the depths of my despair. Perhaps they were a mirror of the depths of my love to her. I still have little idea of what to do, but someday I will achieve closure and get back on my feet again. Alright, O'Connell. O'Connell's manning up, finally. I'm just gonna get a picture of the path. You have helped me. I'd like to repay you. Money, 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 money. I think it's fair to say that you are disturbed. You do not realize what all this means. These trips to the Neverworld and such. Wait. Don't say another word. Sometimes I don't know what's happening. You once lived in this village. That's why you have memories of the dead. There is something I would like to try. It could shed light upon your memories. And with that, he will begin his hypnosis. And uh, I thought he was a scholar rather than a hypnotist magician person. But let's go on to chapter 5. Now, this is the last chapter of Ellen. And then I guess it's Ellen and Keats all the way, which is good because... Uh, it's about time we got on with the actual story rather than replaying what we've already done. So let's go, start of chapter 5. Guilt. Well, that's a great chapter name. Ellen, you're in trouble. This is my conclusion. Each time you see these dreams, you uncover deeply hidden memories. The mementos are just what triggers your subconscious. Now, well, so he doesn't believe in fairies then, does he? Let's try to explore your past. But then Keats is there. Unless maybe Ellen has fallen for Keats. Uh, Cecilia, you were in the village when you were five, do you remember? Yes, I loved it here. People were smiling, smiling at me. Was the boy brought to the village clinic? Yes, you mean her. He was so very gentle. He liked reading books. He taught me many things. Herb. Herb was an incurable disease. Calm down. What happened next? And what did you do? I heard about the fairies. Oh, so you went to wish Herb to life, I guess. If I pray for nine days, Herb will be saved. So I did each, just that, I prayed each day. That would save him? And what happened on the final day? The day of Semaine. The final day was Semaine. Yes, it all happened on that night. The fairies came, but instead of granting the wish, they killed him! With a knife. What, what happened? I, I'm sorry, I must have fainted. What is it? Did I say something wrong? Have a rest today. Wait, I must see for myself. Show me the video. No. What? I mean, you could hardly see it then, anyway. You just need some rest. You're mentally exhausted, please? Okay. We will just walk behind you and play it myself. Your TV is crappy, Monsieur O'Connell. Let's see what Ellen says. What did I talk about? I must see the video. At night, people stay at the church. They do not go in their rooms. In other words, we're going to sneak into his house and steal his stuff, Ellen, you crook. What do you think he said? Maybe he said, I accidentally killed someone many times with a knife. And his name was Keats. And that's why I haven't seen Keats for a while, because I stabbed him and killed him and ate his heart. I somehow doubt that's what she said, but you never know. Sleepy time, Ellen. How can you get a bed? A pretty big bed at that. Double bed by the looks of it. You lucky girl. And Keats gets a sofa. How did you pull... What? Mm. Yeah, what what strings did you pull for that? Who did you sleep with? Probably the question. Let's keep going. 
With this, your Keats. Maybe you just drew lots, so Keats was just being a gentleman and let you have it. Maybe you should be more thankful to Keats. Yeah, you can tell I'm slightly biased here towards Keats. Ellen hasn't done much wrong. She's just very feminine and... Yeah. Feminine. She'll be a bit tomboy and it'll be fine. You never know, though. She might make up for herself. Let's watch the tape then, Ellen. Quiet hypnosis video. I can view it by connecting it to the television. Okay, well, there's the television right here. Laggy lag lag. I remember it clearly. On the day of Samhain, at the fire festival. I walked off, alone. Where to? The Dolmen tomb. The Dolmen? Why? I used to go to the ruins each night, to say a prayer. Was anything different about that night? The entrance of the Dolmen was open. I went inside. I felt drawn to the tomb. Were you not afraid? I was, but I felt like I had to go in. Can you remember? What was it that you saw inside there? <gasps> Try to stay calm. You set foot inside the ruins. And then? I saw something in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was the old bones of some animal. But... It was... A fairy. You saw a fairy? No. No, it couldn't have been. Fairies don't really exist, do they? Well, that's what most adults would say. And unfortunately, I would have to agree with them. So, let's review what you've told me. You spotted something. It appeared to be a fairy. But on further inspection, it was no such thing. But if it was not a fairy, then what gave you such alarm? I don't know, but it was something terrible. Oh. Stop it! It's quite enough! Oh, now I remember. Radio. oh They've sealed the secrets of the netherworld without the means to envisage an afterlife. The living imagine the land of the dead as a place where sins committed in the corporal world were punished. Their fears of their fate created this inferno we call Hell Realm. Why am I here? I wasn't asked here by the dead, was I? Then why? Either you had a desire to come yourself, or Hell gave you an invitation. Well, there you go. We're in Hell Realm. We are going to face the judge, the court, and possibly Levain herself. So thank you very much for watching, and we will get on with it soon and catch up with Keats' side of the tale. Good night.